Hello everybody, it's your time again here and uh, welcome back to another video and on today's video I, I guess I want to talk about the White Snake 3 preview and this preview was uh, uh, it was sent by Alexei Makarov in the comment section so thank you Alexei for letting me know about the preview so we eventually got the release date for the third movie which is pretty exciting which is August 10 this year and which apparently was close to like the, the Chinese uh, Valentine's Day which makes sense, you know, because the third movie is focusing a lot on Xiaobai and Sushan, not Ashian, you know, because Ashian is the previous reincarnation for the character, and then now the new one is named Sushan. Um, this took place 500 years later after the first movie, and officially this is going to be a prequel. White Snake 3 is going to be a prequel to White Snake 2. And I was, I gotta be honest, I have a mixed feeling about all of this, you know, because especially what they did after White Snake 2, because White Snake 2 is overcomplicated every single story and character to the point that I'm not finding the movie interesting. And Xiao Jin's character is something I never find her to be interesting. You know, I was kind of open minded to see what they're going to do with her as the main character, but after I seen White Snake 2, it was disappointing, you know, like she's not that interesting. It's kind of hard to root for her sometime, you know, and it's like, yeah, I just, I don't know, man. I, I don't really, I don't like White Snake 2. I gotta be honest, you know, I, I make a review for that movie and I talk about that extensively in that review. I might do like, like a re-review for White Snake 2, you know, because I think I have a much better way to review a movie, you know, much more cohesive way. Uh, so I guess we'll see about that. But again, like I said before, I do not like White Snake 2. I think it's a disappointing sequel. It's too big. It's too convoluted. It's not interesting. It's not fun. Maybe it's, maybe there's some fun scene in, here and there, but overall, it's just like, eh, it doesn't feel like a White Snake movie, you know. So yeah, it's just disappointing. And so we got White Snake 3 now, and seems like with the preview and the teaser that I already react to, it seems that they are planning to go back to the roots again with the story and it seems like based on the synopsis from this channel that I'm going to, going to read for you guys. Um, so the synopsis for the third movie is in Hangzhou during the Southern Song Dynasty, Xiaobai Xiaoqing found Sushian, the reincarnation of Ashian. Xiaobai and Sushian finally got married and the two set up a security hall to treat illnesses and save people. But Fahai discovered Xiaobai and Xiaoqing's identities as monster and wanted to prevent Xiaobai and Sushian from being together. So from the synopsis itself, from the teaser, from the preview, it seems that they are doing the original story again this time, you know, because the first movie is a prequel to the original story or like the original uh, folklore or legend of the white snake, you know. Um, which is what their studio goes anyway in the first place where the studio wanted to do something new with the White Snake storyline and I think that's what they are doing with the first movie by making it a prequel to the original uh, legend you know because the original story has been adapted so many times in you know, like TV series or movies you know especially like the 92 TV series which is apparently was super popular back in the day uh, so yeah it, it was it has been adapted countless times so that's what the studio is are aiming to do something different uh which is why the first one is a bit different even though it follows the same formula as the original story you know which i think is fine and then you get the second movie which <laughs> ventures way too far from the original storyline which to the point that it doesn't even feel like a white snake movie again you know and even Xiao Qing's character is not even that good to begin with you know it's like ah, all right like it's not that interesting you know um so in the third one, they tried to do like the original story again, which I, I feel like, okay, I guess that's is that's kind of interesting, I guess. But at the same time, here's my problem. We already saw the ending of this movie in the second movie. Because in the second movie, if you guys remember, it opens up with Xiao Bai and Xiao Qing try to probably save uh, Su Xian, you know, for making a decision to follow uh, Fa Hai, you know, and basically they try to create this giant wave to defeat Fa Hai. And that's the ending, or essentially, for this version of White Snake, you know. And then eventually, we get to see the Xiao Jing storyline, like in the second movie. So we already know how this story is going to end. So it's like it's not that exciting for me if we are, if I already know how Fa Hai is going to be treated, you know. And I, I guess in the third movie now, we could actually see Fa Hai being finally the main villain of the third movie. Because in the second movie, he's not the main villain, even though he's like the, the, the mastermind behind everything. He only has two scenes in the beginning and then in the near the end when Xiao Jing fight him for apparently multiple years, you know, which is the most disappointing way to defeat Fa Hai. Because Fa Hai sometimes could be treated to, uh, because Fa Hai is like the big bad in the White Snake storyline, you know, he's the main villain. So it's like, 
I was looking forward to how they're going to treat Far High in their own version. And I'm assuming it's going to be epic. But you got White Snake 2. Apparently, he barely appears. And then the fight scene is just literally shouting, went into the portal, swinging some green snake magic, and then, like, does that over and over and over again for maybe, I don't know how long, 100 years maybe, because Far High is getting old in that movie. So it's like, it's not that interesting. It's not that fun to watch, you know. She so just defeat her because she has a willpower, which is like, okay. Like, it's not that epic. Come on, man. So I guess for the third movie, the redeeming qualities, number one, is that we get to see Fahai fully being a villain in this third movie, which I think is quite exciting. But like I said before, we already know how his character is going to end up, you know, because again, why Snake 2 exists? We already know the movie is going to, how the, the third movie is going to end. Because it's pretty clear that this White Snake 3 is going to be a prequel to White Snake 2. And that's why I'm just like, uh, I don't know, man. I think the movie, the whole movie itself is going to be fun, cute, romantic. You know, we got, we finally got to see Xiao Bai and Su Xian again after such a long time as the main character again, the main duo, right? So that's exciting, you know. And I think this movie is definitely going to be better than the, than the second movie. I know that our, I only watched the teaser trailer and then the preview, but... I gotta say, man, but just by watching the teaser, I was already fully confident that the third movie is gonna is gonna be way better than the second movie because this is the original story for White Snake again, you know, which I already seen it multiple times on many different media. So I guess I'm interested to see how they're gonna tell the story for the original uh, legend, you know, in the third movie. But like I said before, we already know how it's going to end. So it's like. How the, how are they going to end this movie? Is it just going to lead directly to One Snake 2? Like, that's not exciting because One Snake 2 is not a good movie, you know? So, I'm really hoping... Here's here's my wish, guys. I'm really hoping that in the third movie, they come up with a completely different ending, you know? Like, they're, that's going to uh, retcon the event of White Snake 2. I think... That's what I wanted for the third movie because it is something new. It could surprise me and the rest of the audience as well because you, you guys already seen White Snake 2, right? As presumably, you know. So, yeah, I, I'm really hoping they come up with a completely different ending that was way more satisfying. Maybe they can finally defeat Fahai. And then we get to see maybe a finally a happy ending for Shoba and Sushan. And it's going to completely retcon the ending of White Snake 2, you know. But I guess we'll see because One Snake 2 does set up some something in the future, you know, where Xiao Qing end up in a modern timeline, you know, like or like the modern world. And then you get the fox demon, obviously, that kind of like setting up another story there. So I think One Snake 2 sadly is gonna still is still going to be canon. But here's my other idea, which I think uh I don't think they're going to do this, but it is probably reaching. But I'm just gonna say it to you guys, you know, I'm I'm gonna share it. So here's what I wanted. I want this the third movie ending to be different right so maybe in the white snake 4 if they're going to eventually do that maybe white snake 4 could be like a, a complete reboot of white snake 2 so let me explain in white snake 3 uh, sorry in white snake 2 we only see xiao Qing as the main character but imagine if in the end of the third movie we get to see not just xiao Qing but also xiao bai and su xian and probably the baby they were having they travel to the Ashura city, like in the second movie. But this time, all three of them are the main character, you know, in the fourth movie. And then that's how they're going to redo the story again. And maybe make it less complicated, you know, make it Fahai as the main villain in that city. Make him like the, the, the one who controlled the entire city and make it obvious, you know. And then we get to see finally the second battle for... Uh, with Xiao Bai and Xiao Qing against Fa Hai, you know, for the second round, you could say that, you know, like, you could have, have them lose in the, in the third movie by the end of it, and then maybe if I still send them to, like, a Ashura city, all three of them, and then all three of them could actually become the main character in the fourth one, and I know that that is, like, a shitty idea, you know, because that's basically a White Snake 2 storyline again, but again, in White Snake 2, Xiao Qing is the only character, man, like, Xiao Bai is there, but it's not exactly Xiao Bai, like, it's, a, it's like, a different character, and then Sean is completely annihilated, you know, he's completely gone in the second movie, you know, he's only there in the beginning, so it's like completely disrespectful of his character, so they could definitely do some similar story to White Snake 2 in White Snake 4, you know, like make Fahai come back again for the second movie because he's the big bad villain, right? And then maybe this time Xiao Bai and Xiao Jing can actually won the battle against Fahai, and then maybe if you wanted, if they wanted to do like a modern uh, White Snake storyline, you could probably do the similar ending to White Snake 2, you know, in a way where they got transferred 
to the modern world, you know, and that's how you get the modern uh, story for White Snake, you know, because I'm actually kind of interested to see how Xiao Bai and Xiao Qing and Su Xian reacted to our modern world, you know, especially they're like beings with magic, right, like devils and stuff like that. So it's like, yeah, I, I think it's gonna be quite fun to see that, especially in the, in White Snake too. As much as I don't like that movie, it was established that the world, the modern world, was uh, aware of the White Snake legend, you know. So it's like. What if they, what if in the in what if they decide to do a movie where Xiao Bai is basically, uh, so recognizable she becomes like a celebrity in China, you know, because like they are so familiar with the White Snake legend, you know. So imagine if they actually saw the real Xiao Bai and Xiao Qing in a modern timeline to see, and just imagine to see what people are going to react, you know, in the modern world if they see like the actual Xiao Bai and Xiao Qing. I think it's gonna be fun, you know, but. Again, that's my idea. I know that I'm probably kind of rambling, you know, and maybe my idea is not that interesting. I'm sorry, but I, I, I guess, I, again, I guess I just want them to, like, erase One Snake 2 and make it, like, a, a, a much better version with this three main character. Because I feel like they could absolutely do that with the third movie. Third movie, and that's, that's how they should do it, you know. They should, like, uh, come up with a different ending, in my opinion, you know. Because if the ending is just, like, the same in the second movie, you know, like, the first 10 minutes is, like, the ending of this, the third movie... It's not gonna be interesting, man, because we all know this gonna head to White Snake too. It's like, ah, eh, all right. So, yeah, this is my opinion, though. So, um, needless to say, I'm still excited to watch the the third movie. I think it's gonna be quite fun, you know, to see what's um any new idea they come up with the how they're going to tackle the original story. So, yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Um, so yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section below, guys. What do you guys think about the White Snake uh three? ending conversation here you know like do you guys wish that they came up with a completely different ending that would surprise you or do you put do you guys prefer to just keep the continuity the same as the second movie you know because i wanted them to rank on the second movie so do you guys want them to rank on the white snake 2 and replace it with a much better version you know like my idea before or do you guys uh, do you guys think that they should just keep it the same you know so let me know all that in the comment section below guys um about all of that because i would love to hear your opinions about that you know um and yeah if you, if you guys enjoyed this uh video then make sure guys you know subscribe leave a like uh comments below and you know share the videos then to and of course stay tuned for more videos in the future guys and again i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one then bye